Welcome to the update, Nate Gardner with you. Women's safety advocates are hailing the government's domestic violence leave as the first step towards stamping out the issue. Ten days paid family and domestic violence leave will come into effect on Wednesday. Tara Hunter from Full Stop Australia hopes the policy leads to greater understanding of domestic and family violence. This is a really complex issue and we need a not one, you know, not one response. We need um, a whole of community and a whole of government response. And it's great to see that the workforce is also part of that. The son of slaying Gold Coast mother Wendy Sleeman has been charged with murder. The 61-year-old's body was found in the boot of a car in Brisbane's north last week, two days after she was reported missing. The latest spending figures are being played down by retailers. Turnover fell almost 4% in December, with the cost of living being blamed. But Fleur Brown from the Australian Retailers Association says we can't look at one month in isolation. November and December are a good combo to look at together because Christmas spending tends to be clustered you know, across both those months. And overall... The results are very healthy. Australia will supply gunpowder for artillery shells to help Ukraine's fight against Russia. New South Wales police are seeking an injunction to stop LGBTQ protesters planning to crash the funeral of George Pell. The Cardinal will be laid to rest on Thursday in the Sydney CBD. And Sydney property owned by rogue financial planner Melissa Caddick has been sold. Liquidators confirming the sale has netted $9.8 million with proceeds to be distributed to investors who lost more than $20 million. To Sport Now, and it's brought to you by Labbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply and remember, gamble responsibly, call 1800 858 858. The new Wallabies coach isn't wasting any time outlining the playing style he believes can win the Rugby World Cup this year. Eddie Jones says drawing on Australia's Anzac spirit can help lift the cup for the first time since 1999. We want to play with certain panache, we want to play tough, so at the end of games, when those tight games, you win those tight games by one or two points, and that's the traditional Australian digger spirit. We want that in the team. Parramatta's Ryan Madison won't be available for the start of the NRL season. It's after accepting a three-game ban for a crusher tackle in the grand final instead of paying a fine. And the AFL has released fixtures for the pre-season practice matches. There'll be match simulation games in late February and official practice games between Thursday the 2nd and Saturday the 4th of March. The season proper kicks off on March 16. To entertainment news now, Cindy Williams, who played Shirley in 70s and 80s show Laverne and Shirley, has died at 75 after a brief illness. Hollywood star Zac Efron has touched down in Melbourne to film a new movie. The actor will spend the next two months down under filming Ricky Stanicki with co-star John Senna. And Miley Cyrus is celebrating the international success of her latest single, Flowers. The revenge song following Miley's divorce from Liam Hemsworth has reached number one across 13 countries. And we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of The Update. <laughs>